Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A few days ago, a massive tornado ripped through a school in Kansas same. and captured this incredible footage. Nobody was hurt because nobody was in the school at the time, but it's crazy to see how easily these cars are being tossed around. That's actually crazy. I've no- that's- Dude, that's so crazy. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dude, that's crazy. Oh no. Oh no. This dog somehow escaped from their crate on the plane and started running around the airport. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> After a few minutes, the dog was eventually captured. What the hell? This bear was kind enough to respect this photographer's personal space. Hey! Dude, Close that enough, buddy. is... That is so fucking sus. Holy shit. I know that babies kick around in the womb, but this is pretty crazy. Oh, oh, fuck, Ow, that's weird. What the freak are you doing to my belly button? What's this scar going on here? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh. It's crazy because that guy's not even fat. I, I, the ancient you know, Romans would have horse drawn chariots, but today we have motorcycle chariots. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is this actually? What the this fuck? This photographer used a stabilized camera to capture Earth's rotation. That's actually crazy. Dude, that's insane. I was in London insane. a few days ago and noticed many old buildings had windows yeah, that were yeah, filled yeah. in with bricks. So I looked it up and turns out there used to be something called a window tax. About 300 years ago, England wanted to tax people's homes based on the number of windows they had. What? So in order to pay less in taxes, people would permanently board up the windows of their homes. Oh my god. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again in very soon. Later. That that was have to be fun. No shot. I I'll be down. I I like big windows sometimes. This is a really big lobby. Get it, guys. Welcome. Afternoon. Sir. On this crate, it's super soft. They are actually really really tasty when they're like this. At least 150 meters out. That's <laughs> quick. Here, yeah, grab them. They can live out of the Holy water, of course, otherwise fuck, you wouldn't have them out of the water. I'll get a better grip of him. So, guys, from off. the video we watched yesterday, we know that big lobsters actually taste worse. Yes, she got it. You like that? <laughs> big we lobsters actually taste water. worse. Massive beast of the ocean! Woo! Which one is going to taste better, soft shell or hard shell? So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop straight. Down I still there. love lobster. It's though. so easy to do. Split it right down the middle. You go through this way as well. All the way up. Wow. Oh, that... There you go. It was uh, that oh. easy to do. <laughs> Wait, that's <laughs> a hard way to cut it. Of it. So straight away, you're going to see the Wait, difference. Dude. <laughs> you want to take the poo tube out of the middle oh, of it? So straight tube. away, you're going to see the difference of me trying to attempt to chop this with the knife. I have to put so much pressure on to even pierce it. So what you want to do, you want to grab a sharp knife. You want to run it down the inside of the head there and you want to push it up against the shell to try and get all that meat. And you're just essentially separating it. It's just going to make it easy for the next step. You just want to give it a good twist and watch those sharp, sharp oh. blades on the side there. Oh, oh and now it comes yeah, and that's all that hot. Meat and all that good stuff. So That's I'm going to keep hot. this head, I'm going to chuck it in the freezer, and I'm going to use it later on. You want to get some sort of meat scissors for this next step. And what you want to do is it's really easy from here on in with these bad boys. Between the meat and the shell, and basically just uh, get into it. But like I said, these things are bulletproof. The underneath of a crayfish is obviously a lot softer. And that's why they never really will reveal that to you. Grab something super sharp and just straight down the middle. That's what we're left with. Soft shell, that's hard so shell. That's so fucking I'm just gonna put hard. some butter on these two tails here. Should take about half an hour. Ooh. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's so fucking Crazer hard. Crazer on the barbecue there. We're gonna get straight into prepping this sauce. Because I went to high school with this guy? Wait, this guy, really? Passion fruits. Oh, they're harder than I thought. 
But I need the big dog. Give us the big dog. First rule when you're cooking is always use really sharp knives. Wait, these things are weapons. Look at this thing. <laughs> Straight through the middle there. Oh, this smells so good, man. We got some lime, passion fruit, thick cream, some shallots that Jackson's chopping up. In here, we got a little bit of butter and some mustard. So you don't want to actually brown Ooh. these. You want to just lightly cook them hard before we put the rest of the stuff in because we're actually making a sauce. Quick. <laughs> Chuck the passion fruits in. Right, oh. Next step, a little bit of lime. You're fired. I'm the, oh, I'm Vicky's the, in. I'm the new assistant now. We have a special guest, Victoria Shrimp Pereira. on the barbie. Victoria Pereira. <laughs> Look at this guy first. Oh, oh, wow. The soft shell. So the reason why I cook it shell down first is because it basically makes a little oven. It's and then I flip it over just to sear the top layer of flesh and it is mm, 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 mm. All right, it's time to get stuck straight into this. We've got the soft shell and the hard shell crayfish. And we're going to have a little taste test now. All Dude, of this us, looks so, so good. This, we've got a little fork here. Who wants to go This first? would be a taste sick test. fucking day. Oh, that's first. So, you grab this part and I'm going to grab this part. All right, we're going to eat the soft shell first, me and I. Good. And to quickly back it up with this. Oh, yummy. Yeah. I honestly can't tell any difference. I, I don't know. They, they taste both beautiful to me. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is taste the passion fruit sauce. Go on, let's go. Let's go, crew. Here we go. Oh, look at that bit. Dude, I want some lobster right now, bro. Oh, wow. I want some oh, fucking God. seafood, that dude. That sauce is so good. Yeah. Oh my god! Right? Oh, that's a bloody wrap, baby. Thank you guys so much Holy for watching. Fuck. If you want to support us, we just dropped some new merch, some dead glassy adventure shirts online, youngbloods.co. And I'll see you guys very soon.